Yo, Xno here, and I want to talk about the five mistakes that you might still be doing in Genshin Impact. Game has been out for seven months, and uh, a lot of people are still doing some of these mistakes. Some people are still asking me about this. Should you use save fragile resin till your AR 45, crit rate 50%, then the rest is going into crit damage. All this we're going to talk about today. We also go live on fb.gg slash xnlph if you want to join us every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You can also join our Discord. We have almost 7,000 members in there. You can ask questions, find party members, or just hang out with our community. So, the first mistake that you might still be doing is you must save Fragile Resin till your AR-45. I completely disagree for two main reasons. Number one reason, if you save your Fragile Resin and wait to use it until your AR-45, then you will reach AR-45 at a much slower pace than someone who chose to use their Fragile Resin and got to AR-45 earlier and farmed 5-star artifacts earlier. The reason that people say you have to save your Fragile Resins till AR-45 is because you want to use all of them on artifact domains when you're AR-45 and that's when you get 5-star artifacts. But if you start using them, then you can reach AR-45 faster and then start farming 5-star artifacts earlier. It's the same thing. Use your Fragile Resin whenever the hell you want. It will also help you enjoy the game. That's one reason. And the second reason is you will have a hard time if you did not get lucky from the free 5-star artifacts from the quest in Could You Slope. You also get 5-star artifacts from the Adventure Handbook and you also get 5-star artifact from the church. A sister gives a 5-star artifact. If you don't get lucky with those 5-star artifacts, if they don't give attack percent with substats, with crit damage, whatever. If you get death HP, then you will have a hard time going from AR40 to 45. Guaranteed. And that is when it's okay to farm artifacts at AR 40 or you know below when you're having a hard time then once you level up those four star artifacts up to level 16 you might think it's a waste because you're gonna replace them with five star artifacts anyway well it is true you will replace them with five star artifacts anyway but it's not a big waste because you can use those four star artifacts to feed into those better five star artifacts you lose a bit of xp but it's still worth it because it made your life so much easier going from AR 40 to 45 those are the main two reasons there's still more reasons we can discuss it on stream Again, you can visit my stream, fb.gg slash xlph. The second mistake that you might be doing also ties in with the first one. And that is you are prioritizing artifacts. No, 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 no. Artifacts should be your last priority. Artifacts are very subject to RNG. You could go a full week farming one domain every day using all of your resin in that domain. And it's possible you might not get even one good artifact. What you want to prioritize is character level, weapon level, talent level. Prioritize these because these are not RNG. You get stat increases, you get more attack and more whatever the substat is, and you get more damage from the scaling of the skills. So you want to prioritize those instead of artifacts because they are not subject to RNG. There are a bit of RNG when you're uh, farming for the drop materials, but it's still straight up stat boosts. Unlike artifacts, you could go weeks or months and still not have a good set. Look at me, I still don't have a 4-piece Pale Flame and I've been farming 4-piece Pale Flame every other day since it came out. I still don't have a 4-piece set. That's good enough. So if you shouldn't prioritize artifacts, but I also said that you can start farming artifacts at AR40. Am I contradicting myself? Well, if you're AR40, again, you should prioritize character level, talent level, and weapon level. And then when you have leftovers and you're still struggling, then you can go farm some artifacts. But again, that should be your last priority. Mistake number three. Now, a lot of people might disagree with me on this, and that is delaying your world level increase. So we're currently at world level eight right now. If you are at a lower world level and you are on the cusp of increasing your world level and you have that choice to go for the world ascension quest and you choose not to do it and instead stay at whatever world level you're at for weeks and weeks, you're missing out on so many things. You're missing out on better world boss drops. You're missing out on higher rewards from ley lines, uh, XP ley lines and uh, aura ley lines. You are missing out on better drops from just mobs in general. Mobs drop higher level materials. You can even get purple materials at higher world levels. So it's much better to just increase your world level as long as it, you're doing it correctly. You're prioritizing again, character level, weapon level, talent level. You should have no problem. If you are focusing on your main DPS, and making your main DPS as strong as possible, you should have no problem clearing the world content. And if you can clear the Ascension quest, 
and that's fine that's literally the point of the ascension quest is if you can clear it then you should have no problem in the next world level basically you're missing out on a lot of rewards if you're a casual and you just want to play the game however you like and that's fine but the people who tend to ask about these things are people who want to get stronger and if you want to get stronger <laughs> ascend your world level and the fourth mistake you might be doing is going heavy on the crit damage and not giving yourself some crit rate a lot of people will say 50 percent crit rate is enough and then put the rest into crit damage but that is not actually the best way to get optimal dps in this example we have a 51.3 percent crit rate and 267.9 percent crit damage overall uh, stats what does this mean this means that 51 percent of all your attacks are going to do 267.9 percent additional crit damage to get the effective dps increase of your crit rate to crit damage ratio in math terms you just multiply both numbers so 51.3 percent times 267.9 percent equals 137.43 percent so you get an increase in dps roughly equal to 137.43 percent now if you switch for example in this build we're using a crit damage circlet if you switch to a crit rate circlet of course the substats are also going to matter but as an example to show you why you need some crit rate as well now that we have switched to crit rate our crit rate goes up to 68 percent but our crit damage goes lower down to 225.1 percent now if you multiply those numbers you get 153.07 percent that is almost 20 percent increase in damage just by switching from a crit damage circlet to a crit rate circlet Again, there are a lot of other stats and substats that matter that you need to factor in. But the general rule is you want to maintain a ratio of 1 is to 2 crit rate to crit damage. It can be hard to get there, but that is the optimal way. The 1 is to 2 ratio is even evident on the stats and the substats. A crit rate mask is 31.1% at level 20. Multiply that by 2, that is the value of a crit damage stat. Even the game knows what the ideal ratio is. You're the only one who doesn't. And the final mistake that you may be doing is spending your hard-earned Primo Gems on the weapon banner. Ooh, especially if you're free to play or a low spender, it is a terrible, terrible decision to use your Primo Gems on the weapons banner because you are never guaranteed to get a specific weapon. If you want the Aquila Favonia, you could go spend thousands and it's possible that you will never get it it's just that the way the weapon banner works is that even if you hit the pity it's still a 50 50 between the aquila favonia or the song of broken pines so if you want the song of broken pines it's possible you will keep getting aquila favonia and also you just don't need it there's already so much content out there of content creators doing spiral abyss 36 stars floor 9 to 12 using four star characters with four star weapons even three star weapons i've seen one if you want to spend your primo gems just spend it on the character banner wait for a character you like and then spend on it because at least in the character banner you're guaranteed at some point to get the character eula and those are the top five mistakes that you might still be doing up to this day you may be ar55 and you're still doing this so i hope this video helped you out and again you can drop by my live streams every monday wednesday friday on fb.gg slash xnoph and join our discord we got almost 7,000 members in there hang out with us ask questions find party members and also random giveaways for welcome moon or battle pass all right see you in the next video just crown your favorite character crown your main dps or something top six reason gi player mistakes they are not yet in xmos discord <laughs> oh that's a really good one and a bonus mistake that you, you might be making is uh you're still not in our discord 